Welcome to Bootstrap, Insights for the Self-Funded Entrepreneur with Frank Chinchilli. My name is Matthew Lay. We have talked on this show before about how to create experiences, and we all know the importance of having everyone pointed in the same direction and working towards a cause, and to have that, you need a good company morale. And um, in this day and age, we read a lot, Frank, about the Silicon Valley co companies and the amazing perks and all these great things that certain companies do. Mm -hmm. And as bootstrap organizations, we often don't have the money to be able to do right. the same things. Let's just not say we often, we do not have yeah. the money <laughs> to do the same things. So, you know, what are some tips of things that you've done um, that didn't really cost much, but were really good for company morale? Yeah, and that's a great question. This is a great topic, and you know, and oftentimes, you know, that's sexy. You know, talking about the Googles and their, you know, n pods and free drinks and free lunches and you know, scooters in the office and all that kind of stuff. But you know, let's be honest. Most of most businesses, that's not their culture. Those yep. are programmers. Those are developers. A little bit different. They got to keep things light. But ultimately, what those things should be designed to do is to have everybody just come together and be closer. Uh, develop relationships, be friendly, and, and, and to make an emotional commitment to each other and thus the organization and the yep. cause. Now for that to occur, it doesn't take money. You know, so some of the, some of the simplest things that, I, that I've uh, found over the years is just trying to promote people just doing things together, even if it's off hours. You know, so for example, I know, you know one of the popular things we've got going on now is the ping pong league. Yep. Uh, you know, I, yeah, sure, we got a ping pong table in the office, but not expensive. No. Nope. Um, and uh, it just, it's just a camaraderie that starts to build through that and the competitive nature that starts to happen. People become friends. And we've done all kinds of different things in the past, whether it was a movie night, so we all just go to the movie. And it, it not necessarily, company doesn't necessarily have to pay for that. I mean, yep. most people are, are okay to buy their own movie ticket. Yep. You know, or maybe you pay for the movie ticket, but everyone maybe buys food and, and, or on their own food. But don't, I just, it's just like the, you know, you, you have these cliches where you hear only the, fun, the, you know, the family that plays together stays together. It's the same thing with the company. You know? And what's, what's hard when you're not doing those things and you're only doing the other things that everyone does, the yeah. Christmas party, the yeah. whatever, quarterly meeting. And those meeting. things are great too, but, I'm saying but when they're company-sanctioned events. When you right? only do those, yeah. it's weird when everyone comes together because they don't have that. Other, you're forcing you're them forcing to sit it. around, right? You so it. you got to have you got to have those like, you know, things. you remember the uh, Enunciate Hockey League, you yes. know, where we had, uh, we basically formed our own hockey team. Those things are priceless. You're out there in a sporting environment. It's a great stress release, first of all, for everybody. Uh, but you're coming together in, in a project or something outside of work. Yeah. And that's another great idea. You know, most of your, you know, a lot of people are playing hockey anyway. Right. So if you can try and encourage them to form a company team and yep. play together, that's just another fabulous idea. Yeah. And it, and uh, another lesson that you know we've learned, or I've learned over the last little bit too, is that w you, as the entrepreneur and the leader of the business, may not be the right person to do this. No. So the reason why in big companies HR plans the company picnic, um, and it's not just because they're good at planning company picnics, is they're on the outside and they know people. And mm -hmm. so finding somebody in the company who can help with this will generally make, and get people excited, will generally yeah. make it more And you know, you'll know, you be successful. surprised. Anytime you, let's say, want to form a social committee, you'd be surprised at how many people volunteer to do that. Yeah, they usually do ask, what's the budget though first, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get yeah. that, you gotta get that part of it. You gotta get that part of it right. Um, and you know, you mentioned it, I find uh, a simple thing, food brings everyone together. Yes. So you wrap a little bit of food, doesn't have to be the most expensive, and then wrap yeah. some activity around that. It doesn't have to be yeah. out at a restaurant, it doesn't have to be yeah. those things. And it's fun to mix it up. Like, and I see the companies do you know, the weekly the weekly, weekly potluck, eh, maybe it's a bit much. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because things can get boring. So um, just try and have fun with it and mix it up. Yeah. You know, maybe work around long weekends or something like that. So we used to, I mean, we did the whole, you know, the Friday before a long weekend is when we'd go out, you know, on a matinee yeah. and go watch a movie. People were happy to pay for their own movie because they were if they got a day off work. Yeah, they weren't in the office for the app. Yeah, yeah. The other thing too is that um, I found is that as the uh, leader or the entrepreneur uh, or the boss of everyone, the CEO, and yeah. that is that like you know that first time that uh, you and your wife invited me out for dinner mm -hmm. was a big deal. Yeah, that was just dinner. I don't even think I think it was like because I was going back to Hamilton. We didn't even go over that nice. It was just the idea of sitting at that time yeah. across from you guys and and, and having dinner was big for me as an employee of, mm -hmm. of the company. And so those one-on-one -on -one engagements are important for morale as well. Yep, I, 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 yep. another great example, eating. We all gotta eat anyway. Yeah. 
you know, so what a what a great opportunity. And, and I've read a lot about that, different entrepreneurs. We've done it. I've done it. Um, you know, just trying to go out with someone new for lunch every every once in a yeah. while or, or, or more formal, you know, even inviting into the home. Just the more, especially we're talking about bootstrap companies, we're talking about smaller businesses or even medium businesses or even 100, 200 employees, having those soft touches gets real, gets everybody really engaged in the business. Yeah. And, you know, I, we always talk about a business family versus your real family, but you're really emulating the same process. At the end of the day, we're still humans. Yeah. We still like to do the same things, and ultimately, we still want to. We, we we ultimately find a lot of happiness in making human connections. Yeah. So you want to you want to create that as much as you can in your culture. And if you're growing, I mean, don't. I mean, you might not notice it because sometimes we get in our own world. Just how often you're probably sitting in your office on calls and in meetings. Come in at eight, leave at six, and barely see anybody. It, it works for you sometimes, and it's right? it's just such great therapy. Let's yeah. say that you've got some people, you got someone in sales or operation that have a bit of a beef or they had, or, or you had a, you know, an issue with, with, with delivery on, on a product yeah. or service for your customer. The best way to solve that is a ping pong match or yeah. going to eat or having a couple of drinks. Uh, just getting out, you know, of the forest, so to speak, stepping away from the canvas and getting some perspective. No better way to do that in some, in, in some kind of social activity. Yeah, and you mentioned it, you know, they talk about it a lot, doing this on a lot of entrepreneurial books, is that when you're in the weeds and you're in a bootstrap, sometimes it's hard to remember those lessons, right? So everything that we're talking, everything that we talked about right here or in the past episodes about building experiences without spending a lot of money is stuff that you can pick up in many books that you've probably already read and the key is putting an importance on them um, when running the business. So that's a wrap for this episode. Um, please continue to send your questions on this topic. Clearly, we both had a lot to say, oddly. That was sort of a, our first shared topic, I guess. Um, uh, put them in the, the question box, send them via email. Share this with your friends, family, loved ones, other entrepreneurs. And until next time, keep it lean.